Hi, so today I'm gonna go ahead and share a resource that I recently found out on how you can use Google Forms to create or build an email list. And you might ask yourself, well, what am I going to use an email list? Well, an email list is a marketing tool that a lot of business owners can use. And sometimes you might think that you might have no use for it, especially as a new business owner. But when you're starting out is the best time to start because you can use that list to provide additional information to individuals who have expressed interest in whatever document or whatever resource you're offering. For example, I use it to provide small business owners with an year and accounting checklist so that they're ready at the end of the year to submit those tax returns with the least possible stress. So today I'm going to show you how to use Google Forms, a free resource that Google offers. All you need is a Gmail account. So let's get started. You will need a Gmail account in order to create these Google Forms. And when you are in your Google account, you're going to go under Drive. And this is my Google Drive. This is a sample uh, file that I have so that I can show you how to do this and my files are going to be under marketing. You're gonna to go to plus new and you're gonna click on Google Forms and you're gonna click on from a template. Now you don't have to use a template if you don't want. You can start from blank if you would like. The general one that I used for this particular uh, example is contact information. It's pretty easy to adapt to whatever you'd like it to look like or add the uh, features that you would like to add to it. So we're gonna go ahead and use that one for this example. So we're gonna click on it and as it generates, this is the template that you're gonna use and you can name it whatever you'd like. So just uh, for example purposes, we're gonna name this one email list. Email list and we'll just put template on there so that I know later on that this was just a template. You'll go ahead and tweak it to how you would like it to look and then also what information you are trying to obtain. So for this particular example, we're going to go ahead and put what the form is for. So let's say it's for a checklist, right? So we're going to name it checklist or let's name it year end, year end, since that's the example I'm going to use year end checklist. We're going to put the information that we would like to collect. So we're going to collect name and we're going to click on this button right here. You see how when it's required, it turns green. When it's not, it's not, it's going to have no color to it. So we want to require this particular section. So we're going to click on it and then we, we're going to delete email and I'll show you why later on. And then we don't need address for this particular form. So we're going to delete this part. We don't need phone number. We're just uh, creating an email list so we just need their name and email and you can put comments below if you'd like um maybe you want to ask a question maybe um please provide suggestions provide suggestions for any future video ideas again this is whatever uh you would like to ask the individual from here, we're going to go up to settings and remember how I told you that we aren't going to delete this section when it comes to entering the email. We deleted it because we want the form to automatically collect the email as a response. So that's what we click it from here. And then here you're, you're going to indicate to the system what you want to happen in this form. And that's going to be, you're going to want allow response editing and this is a personal preference. Um, it's up to you if you want to. I don't see a reason why they can't go back and edit information. So I do want them to be able to have the feature of being able to edit any information that they have already submitted. This part right here where it says limit to one response. Now, if you limit it to one response, a person is required to have a Google account. Not everybody has a Google account. So I would just unclick that one. So it's not a requirement. And then this right here would be the presentation itself. So what do you want it to do? What do you want it to look like? This again, is goes back to your preferences. The part that I wanted to show you under preferences under presentation is the confirmation message. And usually when you're asking an individual for their email address, you want to provide them 
when some type of information, right, some type of content that's going to be helpful to them so that they realize that you can provide information that they might be interested in. So under confirmation message, where it says thanks for submitting your contact info, you can put a link on here. So you'll go to edit and you can put a link in here. So after they submit the form, you can put a link from a document that you have already created in Google Docs. So this is the document that I'll be using for this particular example. You're gonna go to file and you're gonna go under share. You just wanna make sure you can click on change under get link, click on the blue words here that say change. Here you wanna indicate that the individual is just gonna have view access so they can't edit or comment on it, just view access. After you've made that change, you're gonna go ahead and copy that link. If we go back to the settings under after submission, you're gonna put a little note that you wanna give to the individual. It could be thanks for submitting your contact info. And then after that message, you're gonna put the link to the document that they are wanting access to. We're gonna click on save. We go back to questions. We can test out how individuals are going to see this form. We can also customize it. So if, for example, say you want to add an image here, we can say we're going to go ahead and put this one just because it's very colorful. I'll go ahead and choose that one. Click on search. You're going to see the image appear. And then we also can customize the color. Say we want to do purple. So we're going to go ahead and stick to that. Um, you can also change the font if you'd like. I'll keep it on basic. And then from there, we can again, go through the process of what individuals who have this link will see. So we're gonna click this outline of an eye. We're gonna click on there and let's go through the process. What are they gonna see? We're gonna put our email here and my name and then comments, we've left it as optional. We're gonna hit submit. And as soon as the individual hits submit, then they have access to the document that they wanted. One thing that I do want to show you as well is under responses, when we're editing the form itself, we have the option of creating a spreadsheet where all this information will be generated. So we would just go under responses, make sure that the little button here is on the right. If it's on the left, it's not gonna create a spreadsheet. And from here, if you go to the spreadsheet itself, you're gonna click on create a new spreadsheet. And the information that this individual just input it into the form is right here. So it gives you a timestamp, an email address and name. And if the individual provided any comments, they would be in here too. So I hope that this was helpful. I felt like it was something that a lot of business owners should have access to, especially because it's a free tool that Google offers. Meanwhile, you pick up your business or whatever you want to do with it. It's, it doesn't necessarily have to be used in this specific situation or the specific way that I showed you today, but there's so many things that you can do with it. And I personally wasn't aware of it. So I just wanted to share this uh, tool with you. I hope that you found it helpful. Let me know below if you knew about this or how do you use it in your business. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you at my next video.